Hello guys, this is Vinod from Mind Magics and I welcome you all to this special session in which our trainer will explain everything you need to know about the Alteryx. Before beginning the session, we request you to watch the previous parts of the covered series. Check the link in the caption. In this video, let us look at the topics we will cover. We will discuss about how to connect Alteryx to SQL Server. Please check the caption to jump between the topics. If you are new to the Mind Magics channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get quick updates about the new tech tutorials, free webinars, and career enhancing shorts from working professionals. Like and share the video with your friends and Alteryx career aspirants. Without any further delay, let's start the video. Now guys, our SQL Server Management Studio has been installed. We will try to create a sample database for our usage. What we can do, we can go on Google and search sample SQL Server database. You will go and visit this link. Go to bottom of this and download this SQL Server sample database. I have already downloaded it for our purpose there are three files in this create object drop all object and load data so i have loaded those files in sql server management studio first of all what we will do we will run the create wala uh, create files the second we will execute the load data and finally what you will do you will select this there is a table called products in production schema what we can do we can write a query select star from production dot product now let us go to our alteryx go to input data this back drop down data sources i want to quick connect to microsoft sql server quick connect we will set up a connection name uh, i will set the connection name to sql server i will go to host okay how we can find the host of our sql server is control right click properties and you will find the server name in the properties section at bottom i'll show you here this is your host name control c control v in all tricks okay there are two type of authentication let's suppose your host is the local host that is your laptop so what you can do you can use the windows authentication and let's suppose you are in the organization premises and you have a account on your name let's suppose in my organization i have account in database you can use sql authentication then but in the case of sql authentication you need to enter the username and the db password i will continue with the windows authentication and test my connection my connection is successful now it will ask do you want to select any default database no i don't want to select any default database and i want to click on ok so this connection has been already created the error message came i will create sql server 2 so this has been created click on ok guys this will load up all of the tables that has been in your database you can have a look at it it has loaded the master it has loaded all of the database table just give me a second i will refresh and find out where is our table see guys there were some error in the script that i downloaded i will not say errors but you have to type two different statements first 
I'll show you what statement do you need to. First, you have to create a database bike, create database bike, then use bike. You need to execute this statement one by one. First this, then this, and you can execute rest of the statement then after it. So I will save. So we have created a database bike and now we will move to all quicks. We will go over here, go to tables and let's refresh. We will see if we got some tables from bike. Let us cancel it and again load because it might happen sometime that it doesn't take your table properly. See guys, a lot of time happens that uh, your tables are not refreshed. So I will recommend you to write a query, select a uh, star from bike.production.product. I've written this query. I will test this query first. It is showing a successful connection word name and no errors were found passing the query. So now you can see in the visual query editor, I got all of the column pertaining to this table. Now I do um, the select star statement is quite simple. I don't want to uh, run that statement. I will create my SQL query and I will then try to replicate that SQL query in all tricks. So what we can do select product underscore ID comma model underscore year comma sum of list underscore price from production dot products where uh, not where group by product id and model year execute this statement okay the production dot product doesn't exist no worries we will go to bike dot production dot product this must be existing why it is not giving any records let me check uh, the reason why why that table doesn't showing any record was because the record was not inserted in that table now we can execute our query select star from production dot product let us check now yeah there are records now let us execute the above query what essentially this is doing, it is finding product ID, model year, and sum of list price. The same we're gonna do in our alterics. Let us use the order by class also. Order by price descend. It will take a couple of seconds to run this query because we are using the order by class. Now again go to all picks we want to get the product id we want to take the model year we want to have list price and the aggregation that we need to perform on the list price we have to rename this column product id year and price the sort type on this is descending. The sort order on this is, you need not to uh, apply the sort order on this. Aggregation, okay. What we have to do, we have to uh, apply the aggregation that is equals to sum. We will sum. See, there are almost 20, 25 different aggregation here. You can find the average. You can find the average of the distinct value in the database. You can count, you can count distinct also. Similarly, you can have minimum of uh, the distinct value, the sum of the distinct value, the sum, and you can explore further more. So we need to perform this aggregation. We need to group on these above two columns. 
so we will group this above to column criteria is like where clause right now we are not applying any where clause we will just execute this and we will find out that our data is recorded or not we can check over here now like we check for the input of excel file we can see it is so uh, it is showing that aka sql server 2 we have used the sql server 2 connection record limit let us fetch top 10 records only the file format is odbc any connection to the database is 90% of the time odbc the query that we have used is being reflected over here do you want to cache data for further usage yeah we want to cache top 100 records table field name style quoted or none let's leave it read uncommitted okay so 90 percent of the chance is there that your code is committed your results are committed but it might also happen uh, like your table data is currently being loaded and at, at the same time you have executed the workflow so what will happen in this case only the committed rows will be uh, taken into consideration in all tricks so what we can do read uncommitted you also want to read the uncommitted rows do not show percentage complete okay let's not take upon this code sql statement and pre sql statement is something that i will cover in the next steps so now us execute our workflow and see what is the result now i executed the workflow okay year and price here we are getting product id model year and price oh my god but we have forgot to take the product id so what you can do guys let's suppose you have uh, not taken anything by uh, mistake so again you can click on three dots over here and check although we have taken that in sql editor but we need to check product id so uh, i forgot to tell you about this stored procedure you can also import the stored procedure if there is any we will not touch upon this but you can import this and here at the left you can find the different different tables we have used the bike database you can find all of the tables here and guys you can also create the join and other operation that you can create in sql here also i will select ok for now and i will leave up to you to explore further options now you can see we got product id year and price and it is matching what we have executed 155 2018 and 11 so guys, this is all about the SQL Server connection. See you in the next video.